Lincoln County is an ancient program. Their first season of football was all the way back in 1922. Their first bit of success would come in the early 60s, with a four-year stretch of dominance that most teams could only dream of. From 1960 to 1963, Lincoln County would appear in four straight state championship games, winning three of them. After the 1963 season, the team had a rapid fall from grace, failing to make the playoffs for each of the next eight seasons. Something needed to change, so in 1972, they got rid of longtime head coach Tom Bunch and brought on 24-year-old Larry Campbell. Little did they know at the time, this would become one of the best coaching moves in high school football history. The Red Devils didn't have to wait long for Campbell to bring success to the program. In 1974, in just his third season as head coach, Campbell would deliver. Lincoln County would take down Monticello in the region championship 31-22 to end the 11-year playoff drought. After the game, Red Devil players lifted Larry Campbell onto their shoulders in celebration. Back then, there were only three rounds of playoffs, so only eight teams made it to the postseason. Lincoln County was ranked number nine, so they were expected to lose easily come playoff time. In the first round, the Red Devils would travel to 4th ranked Charlton County and blow them out 29-7. This was quite a surprise, but their next opponent was sure to put any title hopes to rest. The semifinal game was against the 2nd ranked Lions Bulldogs. The Bulldogs would jump out to an early 6-0 lead, but would botch the extra point. Lincoln County would answer with a touchdown of their own to take a 7-6 lead with 4 minutes left in the second quarter. After this, a defensive slugfest ensued, with neither team really getting close to the end zone. This set up a final 5 minutes that were absolute chaos. Lions would drive down the field and set up a field goal to take the lead with just 4 minutes left. The kick was missed, but the Bulldog defense would hold, giving them one last chance to save themselves. Lions would march down the field, but would fumble the ball away to seemingly end the game. However, Lincoln County would fumble it right back, so Lions had a chance to save themselves once again. They would get into scoring position and lined up for a game-winning field goal with only a few seconds left on the clock. The kick was blocked, and Lincoln County would pull off the upset. So seemingly out of nowhere, Larry Campbell had brought the proud Lincoln County program back to the state championship game. Their opponent was the number one ranked and undefeated Tryon Bulldogs. A storied program in their own right, Tryon football dates all the way back to 1933. They won a state title in 1957 and had some decent playoff success, but this was their first championship appearance since then. This Tryon team was a juggernaut, having shut out number two ranked Gordon Lee in the region title before dominating Buford and Hogansville in the playoffs. On the opening drive, the Tryon offense would fly down the field. Bulldogs come to the line in the I formation. Jeff Ware takes the snap. Third down one to the second man, Randy Pace to the outside. And he is going to have a first down. Jeff Ware brings the Bulldogs to the line in the power eye. Takes the snap. Rolling, looking, cuts inside and fumbles. Let's see. A big scramble down around the 20-yard line. A flag is down. And I believe the Lincoln County Red Devils have the ball. Jeff Ware, thumb of the ball on the pitch out. This would become a common theme throughout the night. The second either team would get in scoring position, they would turn the ball over. On the eye formation, dropping back, looking, firing. It's in intercepted by number 15, John Tech. And he is going to be knocked down at the Bulldog 45 yard line. Deflected off of number 30, Tim Perry's shoulder pads and right into the hands of John Tutt. Lincoln County coming out in the shotgun. Number 30, W.T. Williams in shotgun formation. Takes the snap. And it will be intercepted by number 30, Tim Perry. Down around the 30-yard line. The score remained at 0-0 through three quarters, but early on in the fourth, Tryon would find themselves on the one-yard line. Surely they would break the deadlock here. Line. 
Jeff Wyatt takes the snap to Bowers. And he is going to be met at the line of scrimmage. Let's see a fumble. And Lincoln County has recovered. Number 62, Jeff Bowers was upended at the line of scrimmage. Fumble the ball and Lincoln County has recovered at the one yard line. With just two minutes left in the game, Tryon would have the ball in their own half. Quarterback Jeff Ware was determined to make this one count, and he would lead a drive that was the stuff of legend. That's Jeff Ware's prime receivers from the pro set. Ware's going to drop back to throw, looking, throwing, complete to number 30, Kim Perry at the Lincoln County 35-yard line. Number 30, Tim Perry, shaking up a little bit on the play, going to go for it. That's right, fourth down 10 from the Lincoln County 35. Ware takes the snap. Looking back, throwing, it's complete to number 30, Tim Perry, and he will have a first down. The fans go ecstatic on the far sideline. Tommy, there's the big man for you, Danny Don. Tim Perry came up, he knew just exactly what he had to get. He went down and hooked around, and when he did, the ball was right there. First down, Bulldog. Jeff Ware brings up to the line, a minute 24 left to be played. The pro set takes the snap. He's going to drop back to throw again. Looking, throwing. Touchdown, number 80, David Williams. Makes the reception in the end zone. The flag is down. But I think it's going to be interference. Let's see. A flag down. Let's check the penalty. Interference against Lincoln County. The Bulldogs are on the board with a minute 15 seconds left to be played in the ball game. Tryon had finally broken through. All they needed was to stop Lincoln County one more time. Number 10 now calling the signals. That's Alton Bennett. He takes the snap. Dropping back to throw. A little screen pass to Williams to the outside. He's got blockers in front of him. And he is going to be dragged off over the ball. And the Bulldogs have recovered. Tim Perry makes the recovery. Andy Dunn, Tim Perry is the last man that could get to him. He turned him upside down. The ball comes falling loose and Perry said, look what I've got. That's right, with 14 seconds left to be played in the ball game, the Bulldogs have the ball again, and it looks like a state championship. The first time in 17 years, and it's just hard to explain what's happening right here and right now. All the Bulldog fans on the far sideline shouting that we're number one, and there's no doubt about it, as they have gone through an undefeated season, 13 victories and no losses, and look at Coach Clarence Blevins as the clock runs out. The ball game is over the Trail Bulldogs of the 1974 Class B Georgia State Champions defeating the Lincoln County Red Devils by a score of 7 to nothing. The Lincoln County Cinderella run had ended in heartbreak, but they had put up an incredible effort against what was frankly a far superior team. The next 30 years would look very different for these two teams. From 1975 to 2002, Tryon would have some success, winning six region titles, but they would not make it back to the championship game. Lincoln County would see much more success. Larry Campbell would establish himself as perhaps the greatest Georgia high school football coach of all time. Over this period, Lincoln County would never miss the playoffs, would win 24 region championships, would appear in 15 state championship games, and win 9 state titles. However, for all the success Larry Campbell had, there was one thing he never got to do. He never got to avenge the loss in his first ever championship game. All those years, and not once had Lincoln County and Tryon rematched. But 2003 changed all that. These two would meet again, this time in the semifinals. It was the perfect case of role reversal and deja vu, as this time Lincoln County was ranked number one and Tryon was ranked number nine. Larry Campbell wasn't the only one at this game with a direct connection back to 1974. Clarence Blevins was the head coach for the 1974 Tryon State Championship team, and his grandson, Daniel Blevins, was starting at running back for the Bulldogs. In the first half, it looked like Lincoln County was hell-bent on getting Coach Campbell his long-awaited revenge. Championship, Larry Campbell's first year playing for state championship, trying one seven to nothing on a pass with a minute 14 to go. So a little revenge for Coach Campbell. We're underway. And it's Corey Barnes taking it at the 10. Takes a big hit and is down at the 17 yard line. See Bobby Dover, 160 pound freshman, that's great. And the snap's over his head. And he'll just run it in the end zone for the safety. 
And it's already 2 nothing Lincoln County. Out of the eye formation, first down and 10. And they give it Double to pass. number one, and he's going to throw it. Wide open. Stephen Brown. 70 yards. Touchdown. Corey Day, I should say. Malone's full back. Levin's in motion. Hidden, rushed, and it's picked oh. off. Picked off by Antonio Soros. Touchdown, Lincoln County. 38 yards. Fourth down and 10. A minute and eight to go. Clark's going to throw. And he's looking toward Brown. He's got it. First down. Be the best offensive line in the state of Georgia, bar none. Clark, throw again. This time he's going to run. Across the 20. Clevens can't bring him down. He go out of bounds about the nine yard line. 39 seconds. Three receivers to the left. Clark will throw. Looking for the end zone to Chris Crite. Touchdown! It looked like Lincoln County was going to run away with it, but this Tryon team had a lot of heart, and they weren't just going to give up that easy. Two back split. C.J. Norman on the carry. Look at the line of scrimmage and fumble, and Tryon's got it! Corey Barnes! And Tryon gets the big break right off the bat. Tetman in motion, he'll get the pitch. It's a block from Blevins. It's across the 25, the 20, 15. Knocked out of bounds at the 11. With a tackle on six points. As a gift today, he's in there. Touchdown, trying. All good, the one receiver. The pitch goes to Chapman. Chapman cuts and gets two points. And the momentum is all on trying in the second half. Blocked well. All good will take it in midfield. Gets to the 40 and ridden down there. Got a wall, John, for the best defense. Unbalanced formation, John. Abernathy and and that the pitch goes or the head up goes to Day, and Day will get 10 yards, maybe nine yards. It's second down. It's just short of first down. And on the keeper. Has the first down and a lot more to the 15 yard line. And they've come to the big city, the big dome, and they're putting on a good performance in the second half. And it's Blevins on the counter. He's got an opening. Gets to the foul. Oh, quick. Oh, quickness. Third down and goal. And the pitch of Chapman looking for an alley in the end zone. He's got a touchdown try in. And first down, Clark will keep it and throw him down for a loss. Micah Lively. Clark will do the honors. He's going to kick it. All good is there. He'll field it at the 25. The block. The short of the 35. And that's Blevins, and he'll, he'll fake it, and he's going to throw it. Looking for Day. He's got him. First down to the 47-yard line. Stephen Brown on the stop. Second down and three from the 48. And they give it to Day, and Day, the big fullback. What a day he's had. He'll get to the 25, to the 24. Normally a successful 75% of the time on fourth down this year. Chapman on the sweep. He's got the first down. He's score. And he's down to the two. Uh. And then he gives it to Chapman again. Touchdown, Bulldogs. They've got the lead. Got to go for two. Well, no, they got yeah, gotta go down for by two. two. I was never good at math class. Could, Chris uh, Chapman on the touchdown. Job. They're fast, but man, they're tough. They block. And Chapman two. gets the pitch and gets two points, and we're tied. And there's just not that that bounce at all with Lincoln County. They're just kind of moping around. They're stunned. They've been hit in the mouth. They can't believe the momentum. Oh, Stephen Brown. Oh my goodness. Looking for place to run. He's not. Corey Day brings him down to ten. 
momentum. We need a first down. Got to get that first down somehow. Coach Campbell's racking his brain. Clark retreats his goal line, throws over the middle, pass caught at the 15-yard line, all the way to 22, drum long. Flag, flag down, Red Devil offense. And holding, holding on yeah. Lincoln County. Great job, Coach Bryant. With his old momentum started with a fumble recovery by the Trojan defense. Clark in his end zone. He safety. stepped out of bounds and it's a safety. He stepped on the back line, rolling out, trying to make the throw, and it's 24 to 22 Trojan. After really making some noise in the first half, first and 10 for Trojan at the 40. That's Daniel Blevins in motion. They'll give it to Corey Day. And Day gets across the 35 to the 34 yard line. And on third down, it's Day again. He stood up at the line of scrimmage and probably marked short of the first down. Drum Long was there to stop him. They're and there was a the fumble. fumble. And Lincoln County has it. And Clark will keep it, fakes the draw, doesn't even get to the 40-yard line, lucky to get back to the original line of scrimmage. 4.30 to go in the fourth quarter. You've got fourth down and four on your own 39-yard line. Out of shotgun. Retreats, fires, intercepted. C.B. Chandler. Climbed the back of Stephen Brown and makes a huge play for the Tryon Bulldogs. Tryon seemed to have the game in hand. They were running out the clock and had the ball deep in Lincoln County territory. It looked like Coach Campbell would fall to Tryon in heartbreaking fashion once again. However, Lincoln County would get the stop they needed. Third and three. Blevins loses the pitch but falls on it. And Tryon will keep possession, but it'll bring up a fourth down and long. And they've been perfect so far in fourth down conversions. And it's always been a sweep to Chapman, but this time he's going to be caught and won't make it to the first down marker. Knocked out of bounds. Things didn't exactly look great for the Red Devils. They needed their offense, which basically hadn't moved the ball at all in the second half, to go 68 yards in just a minute and five seconds. Ryan Schoenblitz backs off. Clark going long. And going for Brown, he's got it! What a catch. What a catch. Stephen Brown to the 25-yard line. First big play of the second half for Lincoln County on first down. And Clark will throw again. And he's looking for Brown, and he's got it. No, it's for Keno McGinnis. With 30 seconds to go. And Clark looking toward Brown. Oh, what a pass. Touchdown! Oh, what a pass. Brown with the biggest catch of the game, Larry. 25 seconds. The Bulldogs are devastated. What a pass. What a catch. To his second touchdown reception of the, of the game. And these kids, what a heart. Two seconds. Last play of the game. And in. Oh, to the Chapman. Chapman to the 20. Still on his feet. Flag down. It won't matter. Quarterback it's was hit beyond, with the, line beyond the line of scrimmage. Lincoln County will advance to the state finals, 28 to 24, over the Tryon Bulldogs. What a game! Larry Campbell would coach for 10 more years, retiring after the 2013 season. He has the most wins in Georgia high school football history, with 477. When he retired, he had the third most wins in the country and was the youngest coach ever to win 300 games. In total, he has 33 region championships, 18 state championship appearances, and 11 state titles. In his 42 years as head coach, he only had one losing season, which came in his very first year back in 1972.